Fly fishing throws curveballs at us. A backwater pocket usually has a good trout. It's a prime lie because of depth, current break, and has escape cover to the deeper main run as well as in the embedded woody debris. Trouble arises when you have to figure out how to cast. Sometimes we have to adjust our casting angle and almost will the fly to get in under cover at just the right time to entice a trout to come over for a look. So that right there was the cast that I had to do. And it's literally, the back cast was coming down to about four o'clock on my back cast, kind of about 11 o'clock on the front cast, because the wind's blowing that way straight upstream of course why wouldn't it be so everything was getting pushed that way so you had to make sure the back cast was down and low and away the front cast had to go over top of those willows but land with a reach over top of the short willows across the sandbar into the trough the fish came again but it turned that way and anytime you can get that fish to turn that way and if anybody knows how to make sure that's true great but that's what happened and sometimes you got to get lucky in order for good things to happen. But now that we've set the hook there's another problem. 300 degrees of snags and cover to break us off. Your only chance to land this trout is to keep that rod low and angled to the only hole in the armoring of all that cover. In this case it's low and to the left. This is why 3x tippet is so reliable. We can put the guns to the fish, flex that 5 weight rod, and often get a good trout to turn in our favor rather than bury itself in all those limbs and sticks. One neat aspect of a big fight in shallow water with 3x tippet is that because the water is shallow, trout often can't fully use all their fins. They lose control and coordination and once they begin to roll like alligators you can really put the guns to them and keep them near the surface of the water. Quite often this presents opportunity to net it right there. If not, once it gathers itself, it often bolts out of the shallows to the depth of the main river, and by angling the rod out and away, you can steer it away from cover. Once out in the open, pressure can again be applied sideways under cover. At the first opportunity and sign that the trout is weakened, the side sweeping motion of the fight changes to a lift to the surface. With stronger tippet, you can often keep them on the surface, and even heavy trout can be steered in current to your net.